This is Twit. Qualcomm has a new fast charging spec for you. Yes, you, Megan. A cool six months after it unveiled its last fast charging spec. But hey, fast charging is awesome. So I say bring it on. Quick Charge 4 Plus brings a new, uh, a few new features, a few new uh, improvements to Quick Charge 4 compliant devices. That'll speed up Quick Charge by up to 15% faster. It'll also lower the temperature while charging by up to three degrees cooler, which makes for better charge efficiency, so less power kind of dropped in the process, and improved safety features that monitor both the case and connector temperatures to make sure things don't overheat or short circuit uh, while charging. Uh, but there aren't really a whole lot of phones kind of on the roadmap right now for four let alone four plus zte nubia z17 is the only phone that's really on the roadmap right now for four plus and i mean four was just rolled out you know like six months ago and still hasn't had anyone kind of jump on board everybody's still kind of stuck on the quick charge three spec so i think it's going to be a while before we start to see this but any way to speed it up i'm all for it it's interesting what a big deal this is, the, you know, how fast you're charging. It made me think, like, once we have autonomous cars, uh -huh. you know, there's not going to be that zero to 60 in, you know, five seconds. It's zero to 50% in 15 minutes. Oh, yes, absolutely. <laughs> That's going to be a big deal, right? Yeah, so, like, when we stop, you know, stop really leaving our house because we <laughs> are, you know, just homebound most of the time, that. it's going to be, like, how fast does your phone charge? Mm -hmm. That's going to be the, you know, the badge of, that's, I don't know what. That's that's already the question that I ask people at parties is how fast does your phone charge? It's very important to me. I mean, I mean, you spent a, a, a period of time with the Pixel mm -hmm. and it has the fast charging and iPhone doesn't have, well, I mean, it doesn't have quick charge. Quick charge is, is kind of dedicated to these Snapdragon processors and, uh, and Qualcomm's technology. But did you notice a difference between kind of the speed of charge? Did you care? I didn't really care. I mean, what I noticed was that the Pixel ran out of charge faster than mm -hmm. my iPhone. Right. And uh, that's what I noticed more than how fast it could charge. Because I do tend to carry, uh, you know, battery packs around. But you don't want to, like, if you have a battery Man, pack and you're out for that. a long time, yeah. you don't want to, you know, you want to be able to charge it fast with that. And that this yeah. this is what this quick charge promises, too. Even if you're using a battery pack, it's going to charge right. more quickly. So, you know, you don't even have to carry it around up in the club or wherever you are where you need your phone. <laughs> yeah, I'm day. in the club. Hold on. Let me take out this battery pack and plug it into my phone. Oh, yeah. That is not uh, cool. <laughs> no. That was such I don't think that's dad cool dancing no. you just did. <laughs> yeah, you know. No, this is... Everybody wants to dance like me right now. No, they don't. <laughs> okay, fine. I'll stop. Look, this is the best I can do. I'm not feeling very well today. Um, uh, I don't know. Like, I guess I understand where you're coming from as far as like the iPhone being super efficient with the battery that's operating on the device to the point to where kind of the speed of charge is irrelevant mm -hmm. because it always makes it through to the end of the day. I think on Android, at least my experience with Android, is that almost every device I've ever had it's been kind of a challenge, at least at some point, to get through to the end of the day. Maybe when you buy it new, it's great. But then three, four, five months down the line, you get back into that normal routine of having to charge it up a little bit here and a little bit there. And because I've gotten so used to that, the speed of charge is actually very important to me because it's just part of my reality with Android devices. Well, part of why Android devices run out of charge more quickly is because of the way all of the apps use I'm just thinking about the fact that we were just, well, I was just dancing on this You're show so and I'm sorry. <laughs> well, anyone who was just listening uh, will uh, have to download the video now to see yeah. you dancing. Okay. I'm in my, my own drug-induced haste. I apologize. <laughs> my point was, and maybe this is a question because I'm not sure this is true, but what I thought was that Android devices run out of charge more quickly because of the way the apps the battery management mm -hmm. with the apps. And isn't that supposed to improve with the newest version of Android? This is not the only time we've heard Google Same. roll out features that do that. Yeah. So yes, absolutely. That's supposed to be, There's they have supposedly made changes under the hood on Android O that will tackle that. Uh, but you know, th this is now three years running where there have been major changes to battery performance on the back end, you know, with Doze and all these other features that improve battery. And I'm not saying that they don't improve things. They definitely do. It's just the way Android operates, you know, um, developers are given a lot of access to how the phone runs behind 
everything that you're you're doing intentively. Um, and so, yeah, this time is maybe a little bit different because they're really kind of reining it in as far as what can happen behind the scenes. And I hope it makes a big enough change. Regardless of all of that, I'm I'm always happy to to see like quick charge is something that I couldn't not have anymore. Like yeah. it's it's that important. Anytime I have to go back to a phone that doesn't have quick charge, I notice it like immediately and it's and I hate it. Mm -hmm. So I'm happy to see things always improving on that front. Well, Stoneweight in our chat room says uh, fast charging is a fire hazard, but Qualcomm also said that there's isn't. They, they, whatever this new technology is, it helps ward off overheating right. and short circuiting. It's um, certainly something that they're working on. Yeah. It's intelligent thermal balancing. Very intelligent. Mm -hmm.